Hello, my name is Tim Rollinson and I'm the Chair of the Global Partnership on Forest Landscape Restoration. And I'm delighted to welcome you to the largest restoration initiative the world has ever known. It's a global movement to restore 150 million hectares of degraded and deforested land by the year 2020. This is the largest restoration initiative in history and it really is happening. And it's happening now. The initiative is called the Bonn Challenge after a high-level meeting held in Bonn, Germany in September 2011. It calls on leaders, landowners and local people to allocate and commit landscapes in order to reach the global target of 150 million hectares. Back in 2011, it was just a target, an aspiration of ambitious minds in a spirit of partnership. But now, less than two years later, we have already gone a long way to meeting our goal. As a planet, we face a very uncertain future. We face many challenges that require an urgent response to address key issues of security. And these key issues of security cover economic security, water, food, energy security, and of course, climate. Landscape restoration provides a means of addressing all these issues and the Bonn Challenge provides a vehicle for implementing several international agreements while delivering a concrete package of benefits that will make a difference on a truly global scale. For example, the annual net benefit to national and local economies of restoring 150 million hectares is more than $80 billion every year. The impact on fighting climate change is also huge. Achieving the Bonn Challenge would sequester an additional 1 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent every year, reducing the current emissions gap by as much as 20%. Two common myths that surround restoration are that it takes too long and costs too much. But evidence and experience show us that actually change can happen quickly and that the benefits far outweigh the costs. Just consider the case of South Korea. It entered the second half of the 20th century as an impoverished, degraded country, ravaged by decades of war and conflict. Over the course of 50 years, Korea restored its degraded landscapes while it developed and, remarkably, while its population doubled. Over the course of those 50 years, it achieved a 50-fold return on investment. Then look at Costa Rica. It almost doubled forest cover in 25 years, reinforcing its green image on which a highly successful ecotourism industry is built. And what about northern Tanzania? In just 15 years, Landscape restoration resulted in 2 million hectares of new natural forests and agroforests that almost doubled household income. And in even less than 15 years, restoration projects in the Lowest Plateau in China have seen regeneration of forest landscapes resulting in a doubling of household income, increase in local employment, securing of food supplies, and a return to ecological balance. 150 million hectares may sound a lot, uh, and of course it is, but work by the Global Partnership has shown that there are over 2 billion hectares of degraded lands around the world, and therefore opportunities to restore what we've lost. It may not seem like we have enough time to restore 150 million hectares by 2020, but this is where it gets really exciting. Since Rwanda's trailblazing announcement of their intention to achieve border-to-border -border restoration by the year 2035, a set of major commitments to the Bonn Challenge has already been made. The United States Department of Agriculture Forest Service has committed 15 million hectares. The Brazilian Mata Atlantica Forest Restoration Pact has committed 1 million hectares, as have each of the governments of El Salvador and Costa Rica. 
On top of Rwanda's own contribution of 2 million hectares, this brings us to more than 20 million hectares of formal commitments already. With many more potential pledges in the pipeline, we already expect to pass the 50 million hectare mark very soon. But commitments are only part of the picture. More important is providing the support countries, organizations and communities need in moving to implementing their commitments. Members of the Global Partnership are mobilizing to provide such support. We invite you to join us. If you're a leader, a landowner or a local community, we ask you to come together to commit your landscapes to help meet that 150 million hectare target. If you come from the private sector, we're looking for your ideas on investment and other contributions you might make. If you're a government, an NGO or a private company, you might want to inquire about how you can get involved with the partnership. And if you're a member of the global public, then why not sign the Plant a Pledge petition and follow our progress on our website. Whoever you are, just go to our website, www.ideastransformlandscapes.org and get involved or contact us by email.